Good morning everyone, happy Saturday. I am in a great mood this morning. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it is absolutely chucking it down. And it's just giving me the warmest, coziest, comfy vibes. Like I wanna put a movie on. You know what I actually want to watch? Hairspray. So random, don't know why. That's just what I'm in the mood to watch. But I'm up, I'm getting today's vlog up and ready. I had so many questions in yesterday's vlog being like, wait, how did you take three days out and you were vlogging every day? And I, I don't get where you pulled the days from, basically, because I went to Barcelona I had that extra vlog and it just I was two days ahead so that's how it kind of worked out but now I'm back to being next day so as you're watching this like it's Saturday for me and obviously like Sunday for you if you're watching it the day it goes up so I hope that clarifies I wasn't just pulling days out of a hat although that would be pretty cool but I promised you I would show you the bathroom today which is finished and oh yeah if you like these vlogs you know what to do give it a like honestly the comments you guys have been leaving me have been the nicest things in the whole entire world I was like oh how long am I going to carry on vlogging for and genuinely if the comments weren't as nice I probably would have stopped by now but we'll talk about that later I basically have to catch up today you're probably realizing also it makes me laugh in these vlogs how when I took the time off to move it was like you know whole day vlogs and I feel like since then it's been like I've been vlogging until like 9am and then I'm working and it's like 4pm I'm like hi like I feel like you're kind of seeing you know how that goes but anyway I yeah today has some catching up to do this morning and then I think I'm gonna go for a walk maybe a coffee kind of situ with one of my friends later and then I need to get that back room sorted the guest room that's what I need to do so it's all fun and games so it's been a few hours, I just decided to get my head down. I have done pretty much all of the work I used to do for the day besides one thing. My house is clean and I've worked out. So I'm gonna treat myself to a walk and I'm gonna go and get a coffee with one of my friends. I'm very excited. I'm currently deciding whether I keep the ankle weights on or if I take them off to walk. I feel like I should take them off really, but I'm like, who am I gonna, <laughs> who am I gonna see? But I don't know if they'll get annoying because basically they were really sticky like velcro -y, and now they're just not but it's not like well there's a bit of my hair on there now but there's not anything on there so if anyone knows how to make the velcro more sticky again I don't really know but I'm gonna go and grab a jacket from upstairs you know what I'm loving right now I'll show you when I get back my Canada Goose fleece I started wearing it a ton at the end of like last spring winter that like transitional period at the start of spring and I just love it it's like my reach for kind of grab for coat I love my North Face you know like my Sherpa one probably not even Sherpa actually it's probably like boucle but it's cropped and when I've got a jumper like this it just looks weird but I'm gonna stop rambling because my friend is literally three minutes away so I am very excited to get outside the sky's blue the sun is shining we've had a very rainy morning but I'm kind of here for it especially when it changes and is like this, I love it. My Saturday is really Saturday, and as you can tell, I've got clean house, worked out, I've just been for a walk with one of my friends. Look what I got. We sell some beautiful flowers. I think I probably should have asked for something a bit deeper. This is a bit like, it's not very autumnal, is it? But I'm gonna put those in a vase. And then my friend also bought me some brownies, some of my favorite brownies, which is very, very exciting because I love these. So yeah, the Saturday is saturday -ing. i want to have some lunch i'm a little peckish and i need to put these in a vase i don't know which one i'm going to do uh, i don't think they're like a jug thing these feel more like a big vase kind of situ i mean no i'm just gonna do them in the normal vase and then we need to finish the closet clear out to be honest i keep like putting it off i'm like it's fine i'll get around to it because everything's so clean and tidy now i'm like oh i don't actually want to mess it all up but i will because we actually do need to do it because i want to get everything on deep today and tomorrow i've decided to make myself some cheesy eggs for lunch so this is it's a bit random it's two bertha brown eggs with some quark and i've obviously just seasoned it but yeah it just makes it super fluffy super yummy and because the quark's really cold it makes the eggs cook a bit slower and i just really like those slow cooked sloppy eggs so i wish i had some sourdough to put this on but it's not arriving until tomorrow so i don't can i just say i am having such a slow day and i am loving every Every single second. I I don't know. I'm, I don't know if it's the weather, the rain, or I'm just just happy. I'm feeling such insane levels of like contentment, and I'm just I don't know. I'm like yeah, I'll, I'll sit in my room and go through my little piles of clothes and have a little coffee and have a little biscuit, and I'm just I don't know. Someone commented the other day saying I love that you really see the like the pleasure in the simple things in life, and it is so true. It's those little things day to day that bring you joy that 
bring you overall happiness. Obviously, I've been so lucky to experience so many crazy, huge things that are like once in a lifetime things. But genuinely, I think the key to happiness isn't those like big spikes of excitement and happy. It's the consistent little day-to-day -day doses of doing things that bring you joy. And clearing all this out is going to bring me joy. I can even see, like I need to try these on. Love these Levi's jeans. I keep keeping them and I keep not wearing them and I need to either wear them. But then I'm like, do I pass on a pair of jeans? Do you ever pass on a pair of jeans? Especially a nice pair of Levi's jeans. I feel like I should keep those for life. But at least when I have my wardrobes, I'll have places where I can kind of store them and it won't be as like in your face. This I'm definitely going to pop on Depop. So I'm going to pop that on the Depop pile. And I'm actually sat on the bags right now. Shouldn't be, but I am. <laughs> I was just sat staring out the window like, ah. Oh. I feel like a little like princess in my tower. I am a bit of a sentimental person when it comes to stuff. <laughs> I think we're realizing a lot about me in these uh in these vlogs. Oh, I haven't seen this in a while. So a lot of these dresses, I just don't wear that often. I feel like I should pass this on. Yeah, not sure. See, I love this from Zara, but am I ever gonna wear it again? Probably not. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear these dresses. I feel like I actually need to like get my ish together and put them on by rotation. There's so many summer things in here that I missed out on wearing this year because I just didn't know they were in here. <gasps> I love this. I thought this was in Los Angeles. Oh, see, I do think it's time for my Jack Wills coats to be passed on. I'm not going to wear them. I keep keeping them because I'm like, oh, I love them so much. And although I love them, it doesn't mean I'm going to wear them. So I'm going to do one last try on. And if I don't, I've lost track of which pile's which. And if I don't feel like I'm actually going to wear it, I am going to pass them on. I do love this so Maybe I pass on the black one and keep this one because I actually don't own another coat in this colour and I do love it. I still don't think I've had the opportunity to wear this. No, this still has the tags on. I am kind of over my self-portrait era, but I do like this. I'm gonna keep that. Okay. I feel like that's progress. I actually just had some parcels come through. So shall we go and unbox the parcels? And I will go through a ton of this later. I'm gonna like put a YouTube video on. I'm realizing a lot of this I've actually gone through with you in the bags, which isn't actually that fun. But I, what I will do is show you the outcome because you don't need to see me go through things. You've seen me go through a million times. So I'm gonna stick a YouTube video on. Oh, and also a few of you asked me if I could share some of like my favorite YouTubers that I watch. So you can like have some inspo and discover new people. I I will link at like 10 down below in the description box. I'll try like and link 10 that I genuinely love and watch. So hopefully you can go and find some new people you like. And if you do like them, please let them know in the comments that I sent you. That would be really nice. I really want to collab with some people that do like a similar thing to me. So that could be like a nice segue in. And if any of the people that, <laughs> that I linked are watching this, um, I would love to collab with you. Okay, right, let's go and open the parcels. So I'm sure so many of you are going to be over the moon about this. I have bought some new kitchen knives. And if you watched my vlogs when I was in my Stratford place, like my temporary place, I was using like a cheese knife to cut everything. Like everything. Because I told myself I was going to wait until I was in this house to get some new knives. I mean, what are the chances that the one that I open first is actually my new cheese board and cheese knife set? How cute is this? So this is the brand Viners and they had so many different like knife sets. It was a bit overwhelming. I was like, I don't really know where to start. But I saw this cute little cheese board and it has a knife set. And can you see it's got like magnets on there? I just thought this was really nice for hosting or even just if I'm feeling a bit fancy any day of the week because you know what I'm, I'm really over saving my special things for special occasions I want to like love and use them oh so cute but yeah the knife thing I know people are very particular about their kitchen knives and to be honest I didn't know where to start so hopefully I've picked well if you have any recommendations suggestions if you think I should take a look at some other bits as well please do let me know like I'm so completely open to any recommendations any suggestions I went for the Viner's Twilight six piece knife block I, I really don't know much about knives I just went for something that felt like quite a mid-range price point looked really good like it's not really like unless I guess unless you go on Amazon there's not really like a review kind of situ for this kind of thing gosh I really made a mess of this uh, island haven't I I also talking of the island need to get some new stools oh my goodness it's going to be so nice 
to have actual real proper kitchen knives. Next up on my list is to get some new pans. Now, I would love some recommendations. I would also love if any of you have the R Place pan, do you recommend it? Because I've seen the most mixed reviews and I would really just, you know, like to know what your thoughts are. So if you have it and you use it, would you buy it again? Should I, should I invest or should I be looking elsewhere? Also, huge news, newsflash, the Crusade have bought back chiffon pink, which is the color I collect that has been gone for ages. They have this color that's like just different to chiffon pink called shell pink. And you know when something's too similar to be different, but not the same? I, I just didn't, you know, I couldn't mix them. It would have looked strange, but they only have it on the US site. So I'm like, do I? Do I need to go to Williams Sonoma and go and get some? Because they have the bread oven in, in chiffon pink. So I definitely think this Christmas that's what I'm going to treat myself to, even though I definitely don't need any more Crusoe things. But there's definitely some things that are on my wish list. And I also love, I think the color was olive. Maybe, I think it was a Williams Sonoma exclusive. Really beautiful, but it's not a need, it's a want. But these knives are a need because I mean, the amount of times you guys were shouting at me for uh, using a cheese knife to cut a potato, but these look very, very nice. I mean, I obviously am going to clean them all, but I think this will look really kind of sleek. I don't know if I'll keep them out on my side or if I'm going to find a place to store them in a drawer. It's just a very non-offensive knife set. You know, some knife sets are really ugly. I actually think they're quite cute. But that is my homeware haul for the day. I hope you've noticed that I've actually started to get some bits, which is very exciting. I was very reluctant to, but now I'm in here, I'm like really kind of feeling out what I need and what I'm lacking. My knees are causing a real problem. The weather has really turned and my body's obviously feeling it and my knees just hurt so much. And it's like, it's not even like pain pain, it's stiffness as in like when I stand up, I can't straighten my leg. I have to like stand there like this for a little bit and just like, I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things I don't really talk about that much, but like this time of year, transitional periods, I find really, really hard. And I, the amount of times I find myself just kind of stood there like this, like just please give me a sec. But I thought I would show you the bathroom. I've just flicked all the lights on. It looks so cool in here. Oh no, now the fan's on. Oh, it's connected to the big light, so otherwise you're not gonna be able to see. So I'm so sorry if you hear the fan, but obviously it's all been cleaned and it looks so good. So welcome in to the bathroom. Let's start, I guess let's start at the beginning. This is my beautiful bath. How wonderful and doesn't it just fit like absolute perfection? So my bath, my sink, my toilet, my shower, my shower surrounds are all Burlington. And then the tiles are top. These were something that I was actually not going to tile all the way around, but I'm really, really glad I did. And I've got a little kind of like niche there to put some things. I am going to wallpaper this room. I'm just deciding whether I do it now or I leave it for a bit. But honestly, I'm thinking right now I kind of just want to get on with it. But I don't know. Let me know. Should I let it sit for a bit? I really do love this bit though. This edging was something that again, wasn't going to do. And I'm so glad I did. I think especially when there's wallpaper, it will look so good. So this is my bath setup. I love the fact there is a shower in there. It's just so handy, obviously, for when you're like washing hair or even just for like cleaning the bath. It's so helpful. The bath is very big, but I'm obviously a very long person. <laughs> make sure I could sit in there comfortably. I mean, I cannot wait to fill this with everything. We'll do it in another vlog, but yeah, I, I don't know what I'm going to display on there, to be honest, but I love the fact it's been made with the same tiles as the rest of the room. My sink is obviously in a very similar style to the one in the ensuite, and I just love that kind of like cottagey heritage look. And I mean, honestly, that's what actually drew me to Burlington as a brand because they just had that look that I wanted. I feel like this wouldn't look out of place in a cottage and I really like that. I have my sconces that are pooky and then obviously my privacy glass on my sash window. The toilet, there's still some finishing off to do in here but it looks really, really good. This is my shower surround and I didn't want a traditional shower tray because I just, I don't really like the way they look. So I had these tiles from Tops, which looks so good and yeah, it just, I think it just looks higher end than having just a shower tray in there. I have my niches, again, for kind of shampoos, conditioners, anything I wanna put in there. And then this is the actual shower itself. I think this is so beautiful. And can you believe 
believe I went for chrome. I really wanted some variety. Everything else, like bathroom wise, is brass. But I really do love the chrome. I just think in this room. Oh, and I have the same flooring from V4 in here. I was going to do a tile, but in the end, I actually had enough to just carry it on in here. And I just love the way that looks. I also love my towel rail. I mean, it obviously looks very plain in here right now because there's nothing in here and I haven't wallpapered it yet. But I'm going to do a blue floral wallpaper, make it quite fun, quite warm. And then once I get everything in here, maybe I'll even do some like blue floral towels. It will look so, actually I think I have some pink floral towels that I was going to put in here, but I kind of want to do blue now. So maybe I'll put those upstairs. But yeah, I just think it's absolutely beautiful and I really do love having the chrome. I, I don't know what drew me to it because obviously all of my hardware, even on my windows are brass. But when I plan this bathroom, in my head I really just saw it as like super floral, super cottagey with chrome. And I really do love the shower surround as well. Like it's just the little things like this. Like I just think that looks so lovely. It's something that I wouldn't have even thought about has I like not done the bathroom from scratch. If I bought the house and this was in here, I probably wouldn't have paid it much attention. But I spent so long trying to choose bathroom suites that I am so confident in my decision. I look very at home. <laughs> I mean, I'm in my home. I have a couple of parcels that just came through. Now, I don't want these vlogs to be like parcel unboxing vlogs, but I actually ordered these things on Amazon literally yesterday, so I'm very excited about them. But this came, and I was like, what the heck is that? Like, I didn't order that, but I think it's the earrings that I ordered. Now, I don't think I've ordered jewelry from Amazon for the longest time, but I saw these earrings, and I just thought they were the cutest things. Can you see? I mean, I'll link them down below. I'll put them on my storefront, but I just thought they were so fun. And I actually need to sort through all my jewelry, but I wanted something a little larger that I could wear that's not my Huggies, but it's also super lightweight. And these actually do feel, well, I say they feel light until you put them in your ear holes and then suddenly <laughs> they just feel really heavy. But I also ordered some like transitional or terminal. Now, maybe I shouldn't have done this until I cleaned out the closet, but balance. I really wanted, oh, they're kind of perfect. I really wanted some different color Levi's. Oh, are they? I need to try them. And I don't know if these are gonna fit. These are longer than I thought they'd be. So my favorite ever Levi's are from Amazon Fashion and I've never been able to find any that I like as much. These are so soft, but I think I should have got the size down. I always tend to size up in Levi's, but these are a 26, 32. I'm just supposed to wear them high waist, but these look very long. As in, that's a great thing. That's not a bad thing, but I'll try them on the daytime tomorrow because I can't really see the color. But yeah, I just want wanted some more kind of like autumnal feeling pieces and things that I could wear with like browns and nudes. I've been wearing a lot of kind of creams and browns and a lot of the things I have are quite stark. Like even my, the colors of my jeans are quite like, they're just not warm and it looks weird. Oh love, I really hope these fit. I sized up in these. These are a really warm brown and you know I live in my like brandy joggers. I don't actually have any brown ones and I've been wearing a lot of browns, I keep saying. So I ordered these, these are honestly the softest things I've, I'm trying these on. Oh my gosh, they feel like pajamas. Okay, big fan. I also love the crease down the middle. I just think that it makes them look way more put together. They look like they've been like pressed and ironed and <gasps> I mean, they feel like pajama bottoms. They're not, so I will be wearing them out. But, oh, that's such a win. I feel like in these vlogs, you can literally see the clothes I actually wear. Well, I guess the clothes I wear around the house. I've not really, like, dressed up, dressed up, have I? But it's literally just my joggers. Oh, I like it. So I ordered this knit vest, but I want to wear it as a top, not as a vest. They styled it like over things on the website and I was like, no, 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 not for me. But I needed something different that wasn't like a long jumper but still felt autumnal to go with skirts and tights because it's skirts and tight season and it just makes me so happy. Honestly, put me in a pair of tights, specifically Calzedonia tights, and I just thrive. I think it just, I say this a lot, throws me back to school. And even though I hated school, I loved wearing a uniform. I was a skirt and tight 
tights girly at school. I didn't really wear, well I did wear trousers, but I would have much rather worn a skirt every day. Look at my beautiful flowers. I decided I couldn't leave them in the packet like I did the last ones for like four days. And I actually think these are just so beautiful. They're, they're so, so beautiful. So I'm over the moon with those. I have just had the lovely Thursday evening. I ordered myself lovely Anita Gelato and just sat and chilled and it's been wonderful. I was speaking to a ton of you guys on DMs and I thought I'd fill you in a little bit on what the vlog situation is uh, because I know you're kind of getting to 4.30 every day and you're like, is there one? Is there not? So I am committing to you that I am going to vlog for the whole of October. I'm gonna vlog until, yeah, the end of the month so you'll get a video, a vlog, every single day in October, which is very exciting. And to be honest, it's not something that I saw myself doing and then kind of got going. And I actually have so many really exciting housey things going on until the end of the month that I was like, oh, why the heck not? So everything is going to be very like house themed. Like I've got things being fitted this coming week. I'm going sofa shopping. I just like a ton of homeware things. I wanna go to like anthropology, places like that i'm going to westfield one day so we'll go and i want to try a bunch of like autumnal clothes on it's going to be all really fun housey themed things but obviously just like you know my life what i'm doing each day so i know <laughs> So many of you are like, can you just like vlog for the rest of the year? I am so sorry. I just don't have it in me. I have been up until literally 2 a.m. every single night since the start of this month editing. So sadly, no. But as of tomorrow, Sunday, I am gonna get back on my my like 6 a.m. grind and going to bed earlier. I'm just gonna have to like prioritize my time differently to be completely honest but I don't really have as much unpacking to do now so like that element of it has gone so yeah the next vlog is gonna be me doing my little Sunday reset trying to get prepped and just like sorting my life out a little bit so if you feel like you need a bit of a reset too tomorrow's vlog is gonna be quite a nice one um well I hope as long as it goes well and I'm going for a roast with some of my friends as well so that'll be really wholesome and lovely I want to pick like a cute outfit for that get ready for that so it's gonna be a really fun one and then November the 17th I Actually marks my 10 year YouTube anniversary which is crazy I think I'm gonna take a bit of a chill at the start of November and go back to vlogging once a week and then I really want to post some really fun videos around my 10 year and then we get to December and I know I already announced this on my Instagram story I am going to be doing vlogmas this year I made this decision last year <laughs> and I was like it's my 10th year I can't not I yeah I to be honest have no idea what my December looks like. I know I have a couple trips that people want me to go on, like my friends. I just, I need to like have a look at what my December looks like. Otherwise I have no idea how it's going to work, but yeah. So November's gonna be pretty chill, pretty low key. Uh, and then it will ramp up again in December. I kind of need a bit of time just to kind of recoup. Do you know what I mean? But in that time in November, I have my dressing room being fitted. So obviously I'll share that with you. I have a couple trips, like just like UK trips I'm going on. I might have an abroad trip as well. So there's gonna be vlogs. There's just not going to be the extent of vlogs that there's been this month or there is going to be in December. So yes, just know the vlogs are continuing. It genuinely means so, so much when you're here commenting, liking, like please if you can take the time just to give the videos a like and give them a comment it really does mean the world and yeah i hope that fills you in i hope that gives you a bit of uh, security in our relationship <laughs> i'm not going anywhere i'm not gonna ditch you but for now i am going to go to bed because i want to get up early and get on with my day so thank you so so much for watching this vlog i hope you've enjoyed it i am going to finish sorting out my dressing room tomorrow and then we'll pop all those bits on depop and yeah just Pull my life together. Time to sort my life out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.